This Airsoft GI TV episode is brought to you in part by G&G Armament and TSD Airsoft. Welcome back to Airsoft GI TV. My name is Tim and I have decided to continue on my quest to expand your airsoft knowledge and show you how stuff works. The spring powered bolt action sniper rifle is a very simple design. There are very few moving parts in here. So I'm going to show you how this gun powers a BB. Now once again I'm not going to go over the entire gun. I'm just going to show you the cylinder and trigger components and how they work to push the BB through the barrel. Okay, before we get into the mechanics of the bolt action sniper rifle, I have to identify a few parts with you. This is the trigger assembly, obviously, with the trigger. This is the piston sear that catches the piston, and this long plate in here is what's called the trigger sear. These are the two most common things to break in your trigger when you upgrade your gun and you don't reinforce them. This is the bolt assembly, or the cylinder assembly, or whatever you want to call it, okay? The entire thing is the bolt. All right. Inside here, as you can see, there's a piston which is filled in here in the solid part of the cylinder that you can't see. There's a spring inside here with a spring guide keeping it straight. All right. Basically, what you're doing when you pull back the piston or pull back the bolt on your bolt action sniper rifle is you're pulling back the entire cylinder assembly. Okay. In an AEG, the cylinder stays still and you pull back the piston, but in this particular case you're pulling back the entire assembly so that the piston can get caught by the piston sear. Then when you push the bolt forward, it loads the BB into the hop up with the loaded piston and spring behind it, it's ready to fire. So once you've gone through that cycle, like I just did pulling the bolt back, this piston is going to move back here and it's going to have a loaded spring behind it. What's keeping the piston back is this sear. As you can see the piston moves along here, the sear folds down to let the piston go by and then it resets forward. Once you've pulled the bolt back on your gun there's going to be a load put onto this sear. And the load is being pushed forward and downward so that when you pull the trigger on your gun the whole plate moves down releasing the piston. Once the piston is released the spring pushes it forward compressing the air that's in this part of the cylinder, pushing the air out of the nozzle and behind the BB and ultimately firing it through the barrel. That's basically how your bolt action sniper rifle works. Again, there are more components on this gun that I'm not going to illustrate. You can learn about that as you learn more about Airsoft. This Airsoft GI TV episode is brought to you in part by Echo One USA.